If you ain't Taliban motherfucking lit, you ain't taking over shit. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Insight Eleven back at it again with a fucking another one. And look, this video is titled. Well, I don't even know. I don't even know what's gonna, what's gonna be titled. But you know what I'm saying? Check this out. If motherfuckers hate you, that means motherfucker use a threat and there's something about you that's threatening them. And chances are you're reminding motherfuckers of certain parts, certain aspects of themselves that they don't even want to be fucking aware, that they don't they don't even want to deal with. So they just wanna come on and be seen or be heard as somebody or something without necessarily doing the shadow work, without necessarily doing the trauma, which can cause you to motherfucking like trigger people, whatever it is. But but check this out. The point of this video is to say is that mother look you want people to motherfucking hate you now look in an ideal perfect world you don't want people to love you oh yeah i love peace and light everybody loves me and shit like that but if you too much too many motherfuckers love you it really just means motherfuckers are sitting back catering to a bunch of shit that other people got going on so they can be like so they can kind of like Per, per uh, rally, or you know, they can join, go join the Trump rally. Oh, yeah, everybody, we all like the Trump rally, right? Oh, yeah, fuck you, yeah, Trump. Oh, man, fuck Trump. Fuck all the motherfuckers. Look, you want to be hated because hate, hate is literally just fucking free currency. If motherfuckers hate you, you got motherfuckers thinking about you all the time. But look, here's the thing. You got to be able to handle it, though. If you can't handle that level, if you can't handle that position, then that hate might throw you off. But the point of it is you want to make sure that you're pursuing your own personal path in life. And when you're pursuing that personal path, you're going to meet motherfuckers that like you for it. You meet motherfuckers that dislike you for it. Or you might meet motherfuckers that flip-flop between both where they hate you sometimes and they pretend like they love you. Waiting to take you off your position and shit like that, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, none of that shit matters. What you want to do with the hate is you want to be able to fucking assimilate that shit. You want to make that shit literally a part of your power. Because, look, motherfuckers hate all the time. You got motherfuckers like presidents, prime ministers, goddamn it, people in Hollywood. They hate it all the time. But the question is, how, are, how do you, as an alchemist... Take that hate energy and actually assimilate it and use it and direct it for whatever it is that you got going on. Because if motherfuckers is out here just, goddamn it, pushing off frequencies and vibes and shit like that, and they don't even know why because they really lack the proper introspection and a certain parts of themselves that you might be making them aware of certain things that they don't want to deal with and shit like that. Because look, we're just inside of a world of mirrors. We're all just some type of mirror to some type of aspect of each other even though it might be in a smaller percentage. So we all make a, make, each, make each other aware of some motherfucking shit, whether we like it or not. Now, whatever you make people aware of as far as what's going on inside of them, they might fucking hate you for it. They might, in fact, they don't want to fucking kill you for it because whatever level you're operating on is some level where a motherfucking devil demon can't fucking take you down. Not externally, not internally because your own mind is not motherfucking against you and Anyone outside of you, no weapon formed against you will prosper. So motherfuckers don't like that because they look at in their lives, they easily took him down by a thought, by a feeling, or some person outside of them that don't like what they do, and so they stop, whatever. People automatically come up with shit in their head like, oh, nah, you're supposed to stop doing what you're doing. Don't you see these people that fucking hate you? That means what you're doing is not good. But check this out. When, when I read, and fuck Prophet Muhammad, okay? But when I read Muhammad's biography and shit like that, Fuck that nigga anyways, but the point of the point of this that motherfuckers was throwing rocks at him, all types of shit. Yeah, fuck that sand nigger. Fuck that Arab ass nigga. Get him off stage. Boo. He didn't give a fuck. Fuck that hate. He just continued to deal with the thoughts and feelings that were the other people were throwing on him, and he just created some broad philosophical point of view about it. And that's how you start marketing producing, sharing information, valuable resources. Cause you gotta be the one who's a fucking alchemist. You got to be the one that takes control of the fucking energy. You can't let the energies going on take control of you and direct you towards some path that's going to make you lesser than, make you a lesser light. See, a spirit that's operating under lesser lights, lesser chakras, lesser thoughts and feelings, vibrations and shit like that is, is going to be the spirit that's going to sit there and allow the perceived bad to fucking... Uh, Direct, directed out off, off of his path. So you could be motherfucking driving with your motorcycle. And you're like, mm, you know what? I like art. I'm going to do art. And so that's what I'm going to pursue. Or I'm going to pursue for philosophy, blah, blah, blah. Right? So you could be driving down there, but you're going to meet certain motherfuckers down that road. They're going to be like, oh, no, nah, I don't like what you're doing. Nah, I hate what you're doing. Man, fuck what you're doing. Nah, I don't do that. Because you got to understand the motherfuckers that sit and doing that, they got insecurities. They got no lack of validation. That 
They haven't even validated themselves. They don't even feel secure in themselves. So what you think gonna happen when they see a motherfucker who's secure in themselves, who actually like themselves, who don't give a fuck what their opinion is? That's gonna scare them. Cause like, that's just gonna be them seeing the potential that's in them already that they may not want to do the work to even get to. So of course you're gonna be a motherfucker that's hated by the world, but you want it. Cause like, look, it's all part of the evolutionary race and shit. And since humanity in general is a, is a very low vibrating, demonic, weak ass, just species in general that doesn't really want to evolve, that likes to stay underneath the safe parameters of knowns that was marked out and classified by humans before them, whether you're into Christianity as a religion, whether you're into, um, oh, I want to be a millionaire, I want to be a billionaire. No, fuck all that garbage. All that shit is vibrational. It's a virtue that you do. And if you're that fucking virtue, can no one fucking stop you? Because at that point, you know your spirit. You're not operating underneath a motherfucking title. Oh, I'm a Christian. I'm a, I love peace of life. I'm a Muslim. Archangel Michael. Oh. And what I mean by these things is, it's just different sides of the planet. It just mean different, or just different atmospheres from a light density level. These things are literally things people worship. So when you see Muslims going so hard, yeah, going being righteous and shit like that, that's Archangel Michael. That's them being right. That's like spring season. They want to give birth uh, into the reality that they want to give birth to and shit like that. Even if it mean like pain, death, because it's like Aries deal with Pluto and shit like that. So, you know, you can get into the energies and start to understand these things yourself and shit like that. But the point of this whole thing is that before you even start any type of movement and you have to make sure that your movement is orchestrated outside of the government machine because the government machine literally creates narratives of shit like Black Lives Matter. I thought that shit was the dumbest shit in fucking existence I've ever seen. I've never seen so many dumb niggers rile up together talking about, oh, what y'all think? You think our lives matter? Bitch. The shit that black people do every day show the world that y'all don't even think y'all lives ma fucking matter. So before y'all even ask the government to come through and help y'all, which a lot of that money just went to the Democratic Party anyway, so y'all let motherfuckers hustle y'all because niggas is in their feelings and shit like that. So what I'm saying is you gotta come on some terms of agreement beyond this government shit. Like motherfuckers let the government put leaders in their fucking face like Marcus Garvey, Barack Obama, Muhammad Ali, and I ain't nothing wrong with none of those guys. What I'm saying is that the government is smarter than most people. They're gonna obviously give the people a puppet leader to still direct them towards some type of narrative. Like, for example, the shit about, what was it, man? When black people, which were, which were already indigenous to America, by the way, if you know the history, the real history, not the one that uh, motherfuckers uh, re-educated you and re-indoctrinated the thought you, black people was already an indigenous, it was Americana. They was already indigenous to that land. But motherfuckers sat back and like, yeah, you know what? We want to be able to eat at the same restaurants that white people eat at, only to eat some fucking pla plain fucking p tomatoes, bro, with no black pepper, with no salt. That shit was plain as a motherfucker's uh, uh, bitch's ass. Uh, on a non-sweaty day or some shit like that. So I don't know what these motherfuckers were sitting back fighting for other than trying to be a part of another man's world. And if you're trying to sit there and be part of another person's world so badly, you might not be shit because you're supposed to create your own world at that point. And look, it gets hard. It gets difficult. And that's the point of me talking about being hated is okay. Because when you can take the fucking heat, when you're out in the summer sun playing basketball, playing soccer, and you're not letting that heat stop you, you're gonna, be, you're gonna develop some type of resistance. You're gonna develop your something new is gonna uh, evolve in your biology. Now we're talking about some mental aspects that can withstand the toxicity of that situation because you've been through that situation. So yes, new uncomfortable situations are gonna be seem unfamiliar, so it's gonna be tough, but if you're willing to walk through that fire, you're gonna be a whole new example on how, on how shit is done. So it's like, don't be afraid of being hated because that shit is literally free energy. And if you're the alchemist, you should want as much as hate, as much as goddamn it beef, as much as fucking whatever it is the motherfuckers bring you. Because at the end of the day, it's just free energy. And when you just learn how to assimilate and use that energy for yourself rather than against you, meaning that you're not going to sit there and deconst deconstruct because someone else decided to throw some bullshit on you that you can just take and redirect towards whatever purpose you got going on, you're going to be a bad motherfucker because they're going to be sitting back like, 
And it's not like you was trying, but because it didn't affect you the way they thought it, it's gonna affect you. They're gonna have some reverse psychology concept. Well, hmm, well, why didn't he do that? Why, why didn't that affect him? Hmm, I was trolling him the whole year. Hmm, I was making fake accounts. Hmm, I was doing X, Y, and Z. Why is this not working? And the only thing it shows is like, cause you got so many people that are just keyboard warriors and shit. Motherfuckers that will never show their face. Motherfuckers that will never come to your doorstep. Cause the internet created this like, online keyboard warrior type of energy where you can say whatever you want to and you think you get, you're you gonna get no half of these motherfuckers that say shit online don't even can't even do that shit in real life otherwise they would get slapped otherwise so they can't wait to do that type of shit on the internet to some uh someone they don't like or whatever it is that they got going on so yeah with that being said hate is the supreme fucking energy not exactly supreme but hey it is an energy out in the universe which is we're talking about mars passion aggression desire that shit is going to be directed at you in some way shape or form but you want to make sure that other people passion aggression desires you're not affected by that in fact you're assimilating that shit and you're using that shit for whatever the fuck you got going on so you can't be thrown off and look look you can create a platform that's not polarizing and that's okay but at the same time that's like being safe that's like being that's like saying okay well well well, it was done this way by people before me. So they already laid the path, brother. Praise Jesus. So I want to do it that way too. Praise Allah. But that's like just being a pussy. That's like, that's like, that's just being scared of life. I'm, I'm not, there's nothing even wrong with that either. I'm not talking down on that. Shout out to all the people that are staying safe. God damn it. But ain't no evolution in staying safe other than following someone else's evolutionary path. And I don't mean no disrespect whatsoever, God damn it. But... This is not some shit that weak ass people could do anyways, as far as like take over the world, as far as like create your own intellectual properties, as far as create your own fucking religions, as far as make your, make a new politics. This is not for some weak ass people. Weak ass people will need a leader to follow. And look, I, th that's just the way the world is. You're gonna need sheep that follow, and you're gonna need goddamn rulers that freaking rule, and you're gonna need magicians that do some magic shit behind closed doors. Cause the sheep is choosing to be sheep based on them not being able to go through that unknown or uncomfortability or whatever it is. And since they can't handle that type of turbulence, they need a guide, they need a system, a system. They need to be assisted mentally because they can't assist themselves because they have assimilated themselves so deeply into the matrix and into the system outside of them, into the scene realm. They can't even compute what's going on with them in the unseen realm. So they might need a vaccine shop. They might need like a depression pill. They go to all this shit outside of them, but they forget the starting point with some subjective shit inside of you because both of us can go outside and we can see a snake one motherfucker can jump and be scared of it and react in the fear energy because they might have never dealt with a snake before whether it's a character in a person whether it's the actual snake and the other person might look at it like mm, whatever that's that's i ain't even scared of that because the snake is gonna also gonna react to however you reacted to it so if you're reacting in fear then the snake's gonna want to attack you i tried this the other day i was skating down the road and there was a dog just fucking I'm not running at me, but like, I passed by it, and you know, it kind of like took a few steps towards me, and it was like woof. But I didn't, I didn't shake, I didn't, I didn't do not, I didn't even care. The dog was like, oh shit, yeah, he's a G. I can't fuck with them because people want to be, people want to see how you react to shit. So if you don't give them the reaction they want, it's like they can't even have the the, the authority, which is subconscious, really, to even go forward with whatever bullshit they got going on because they can't really fuck with you unless you fuck with yourself. So stop fucking with yourself so other people don't fuck with you. Because you got, not only do, we're dealing with the government, but we're also dealing with people's minds that be scared of their own fucking mind and shit like that. But yeah, that being said, gotta be lit like the fucking Taliban to take over some shit in this motherfucker. Shout out to the Taliban, real shit.